Hello, everyone. My name is Dion Morales, host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we are coming to you live from the top 16 of the Coruscant Invitational. This is FFG's first ever premiere event. we got some funky rules that my co-host is going to go over, but I'm super glad to see you guys here. Thank you for watching uh, live and in the future. We're going to be giving away some stuff today, so make sure you guys pay attention here. Uh, but who, who, who are you? I am Devin Monkhouse of the Prototype Toronto League, and I am here to tell you about the 2018 Coruscant Invitational. That's so right. Throughout 2018, FFG hosted large-scale premier events from 60 to 500 people. You're able to win invites here to the wonderful metropolis of Minneapolis, Minnesota, <laughs> on this uh, warm October day. And we have 100 of the best X-Wing pilots in the world here with us, uh, flying some real fun 2.0 jank. And I love these lists. And what we're going to see here is some free upgrades. So what FFG did is they made each pilot who came here today bring a, uh, a specific upgrade unique to your faction. So if you brought Rebels, you had to bring Leia. If you brought Scum, you had to bring Boba Fett. If you brought Imperials, you had to bring Ruthlessness. Now, because you had to bring these, these e talents and crew... Because you were forced to do that, they made them free for each pilot. <laughs> so um, you can see here, uh, Jesper Winstrom, uh, Jesper, better known as Jesper Hills, he's just changed his name, a uh, former UK national champion, mm -hmm. has brought Boba Fett on Paylob. That is free, although he does, so he has a 15 point bid. And we have Roger Jeske out of Germany. Um, glad to see some of these uh, international players coming here. And he has Leo Organa on Garvin Dreis in what I would call a tie, uh, or not a tie, a, uh, a rebel salad list where you've just got a bunch of chunk on the board that they're all friendly, passing tokens, just uh, having some, having a good time, you know? It's oh, like yeah. a Cobb salad, you know, just put a bunch of good stuff together with some lettuce and mm, it's just <laughs> you, good. You got it. And uh, Jesper, Jesper Hill's list, I absolutely... <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I have to give a shout out. We've got Admiral Admiral O'Shell on stream. Um, that's uh, gets mailed around the world uh, from a, a local of ours. That's the fantastic. The Gong Squadron in Guelph sends Admiral O'Shell to all sorts of events. That's fantastic. Um, and we've got Hans Dice there. That's uh, right. The one eight six. So uh, Jesper's representing the one eight six squadron. Yep. Um, Roger was just here. I could have asked him if yeah. he had. Uh, where he was from, I feel like uh, Germany's a pretty... When I asked him he was from, he said Germany. Yep. So, uh, it's a big place. It's a big place. Uh, I want to break down Jesper's list. We actually had one of uh, our Gold Squadron's very own, uh, Francois Moray, played against him last, uh, yesterday. That was... Jesper was his only loss. It Jesper went 6-0 and yesterday. Right. So... Um, he's coming he off a bye. Really? Yeah, coming off a bye. You could, you, some of you could say he's coming in a little cold, maybe. Right, sports analogy. You know, he had to sit around and wait, or was he getting focused? Well, he has the most aggressive Boba Fett placement we have seen all weekend. Yes, Dion, this I is am true. in. This is true. So, um, I want to talk about his list a little bit. So, he got Fen and Old T with Paylob. Uh, this is going to be an extremely aggressive list. Yes. I mean, he wants to be in the face. He's He's got Fearless. He's going to be using it. He's going to be stripping tokens. Uh, Roger's list is all about uh, using using his... Their buddies. Uh, their buddies. And you have Garvin passing focus around and doing all this stuff. Dutch passes target locks. They're right. going to be taking each other's damage. They're going to be spreading it out. Exactly. The wedge is going to be bringing them up to that I-6. It's going to be... They're working together. We're going to have some slobber knocking. Oh, I don't know what that is, but I like it. <laughs> so I was actually talking to Jesper during his buy before okay. we were casting the other game. Yep. While we were well, while, while you were heroically setting up a fourteen <laughs> swarm match, a fourteen ship swarm match. Yeah, if you're watching this in the future, you find that video: <laughs> Blair Bunky versus William Haywood. Pretty intense. So Jesper was saying. He, these are the only ships he brought to North America. This is it. This is the only thing he brought. Yep. This is, he wanted something simple. He wanted something aggressive. He wanted something where he wasn't making a lot of decisions. The exact opposite of what we just had on the stream. Yes. Was, uh, I think he's got that. He's going to get in there. I think uh, you're right. It's going to mm -hmm. be a very aggressive match. He's just going to get in there and get going and uh, get, get digging into those big, chunky rebel ships with selflessness. That's right. So, um... Before we get too far, I want to talk about all the people who make Gold Squadron Podcast streaming possible. I want to start with our patrons. You guys are the number one group of people that make 
all of this tick. Thank you guys so much. Um, we're going to be revealing some new swag uh, on Patreon here in the next week or two. Uh, I'm super excited to show that off. So thank you guys so much. If you want to be a part of that, go to patreon.com slash gold squadron. Thank you to our Twitch Prime subscribers who literally uh, give us free money, uh, which is very rare in this world, uh, give us, giving us Amazon's money. You connect your Amazon Prime account to Twitch, and you literally can donate $2 and change uh, a month just by clicking a button. You do have to click it every 30 days to make it happen. Thank you for those who have taken the time to do it, which leads me into our giveaway for, uh, for today. We're gonna, we have a five-card set uh, that we've, we brought with us. It's the uh, IG-88 B and C, a Nora Wexley alt art, a Loric alt art, and a Fen Ra Rebel Fen Rao alt art. You can get one of those sets. Um, you could win those today, but we need to meet a goal. Got to set a goal. Goals I, are always good to have. Goals are always good to have. I'm going to set the goal at a total of... I, was making, I made it too easy yesterday, didn't I? I made it too easy. No, the last one wasn't last one. That's true, it's true. I, well, my, I think my first ones were a little first bit easy. First ones were a little easy. All right, so we're going to go for... Um, let's go for 10. 10 new uh, or re-subscriptions of Twitch Prime. Easy. And that will unlock a total of five sets. And if we reach there, we can add some more stuff after that. This is a pretty... Pretty... Pretty run-of-the-mill openings from these guys. We've got uh, Jesper casting a very wide net, uh, hoping to catch and uh, do a pincer move in on on one of Roger. And my apologies if I mispronounce anything. Yeskes uh, ships, um, and uh, I'm hoping. And Roger's going to keep together. I hope he keeps together because that's how uh, his list works. Yep, he's going to he's going to have to be in formation. And I think this is very interesting. We have some. Um, very tight uh, ace play here from Jesper, uh, flying around the ghost of Admiral O'Shell. Um, and uh, what, what is the, Oh, Captain. Okay, the the the. I was like, wait, what are you talking about? The, the, ghost the turtle. Of Admiral the turtle. I was like, what? He's a tortoise, Dion. A tortoise. <laughs> I'm sorry. Brandon isn't watching, he's going to be very upset. But this will be on YouTube eventually. It will be. <laughs> All right. Okay, you're getting around me to turn the dice cam on before we uh, start rolling dice. Yes. <laughs> Hopefully they will remove uh, O'Shell and the Hans lucky dice. So this is very interesting. I think Roger has a very... He's got selflessness on Dutch and Garvin. Yep. Now, do you think he's going to be using that on, like, Garvin's going to be pulling from Dutch, Dutch from Garvin, or the just from Wedge, keeping Wedge alive? I think it's going to be keeping Wedge alive. He has to be careful with where he places these tokens, though. Paylob, if you're not familiar, uh, at the beginning of active, at the beginning, beginning of engagement, he can pull a focus or evade um, off of uh, off of a enemy ship. Uh, which is a really good ability. You're lowering the offensive or defensive abilities of your enemies, plus amping your own. Uh, he's going to come in there already with two focus, plus take one away. It's really, really strong. And then with old Terak as well, basically you end up with zero modifications on your guys, and Fenrau comes in and punches them in the face. And, and you can see on Paylob now, he's got Debris Gambit, so Paylob can evade. Yeah, and so you're gonna see focus, focus, evade on that. It's very tanky. Like yes. You want you want to kill it, right? Yeah. You're like, I have to kill that hawk. It's doing all these bad things. It's not easy. Though. It's got those two evade dice. Yeah, and two evade dice with focus evade. Yeah, you're gonna be chunking out, the, reducing the damage. You're not gonna stop all the damage. Right. But you need to get it low enough that you're gonna live and get into the next round. Get into the next round. Yep. Keep Paylob around, stealing those tokens. Yeah, because what you uh, what when Jesper is is rolling his dice, all he's looking for is a single focus. That's all he's doing. Yeah. It's like, let me get a single focus. Very aggressive. Five here. forward here. This is old Terok coming in. He's boosting. He'll just have range one here into Dutch. Now, Dutch does. Dutch took a target lock, has no green tokens. Mm -hmm. Four old T, two strip. But Fearlessness is going to be in play. Fearlessness was, is 100% going to be in play. So now, Fearless no. allows you to change any, uh, a blank result, or any result, right? Is it, or just a blank? I think it's any result, any to, result a to, a, a hit. to a hit. Correct. And he's got that defensive ability from the Concord Don title. Uh, not, sorry, it's not a title anymore. Uh, ship ability. Ship ability. There you we go. We can call it titles. Ship titles. 
And so, and you can see here, Paylob will have a range three shot on Dutch. It's, I find Jesper's uh, decision to target Dutch out of these three very interesting, and it, maybe it's because he's the one that peeled off. And he's and he's also the one that provides the, the target lock synergy, right? Just they they all give synergy. Yeah, they're just... Uh, but he can do it twice at a time, right? Mm -hmm. So here's the target lock uh, while giving one to himself. And now the target lock is a blue token. Yep. There's an invisible blue token next to Dutch on his yes. jersey that is a blue token. And so old T only affects green tokens. So Correct. The, the target lock nonsense will be saved. That appears to be range two, but might be... All right, here we go. So this is old tear rock. Let's turn on the dice. Ah. So what they were measuring for there was to see if uh, Wedge could swarm tactics up Dutch, and he could not. So, so here we have... Uh, so this is Fen Rao. And Jesper Hill's legendary dice rolling. There you go. Three hits and a crit. Admiral Shell supervising the dice. Spends it. Four hits and a crit. Four hits and a crit. That that's is all going in. That's all, all the shields and a crit. That's a lot of damage. That's half hull on Dutch right away. That's, what's the crit? The crit is it's direct Direct hit. Oof. Three damage. One one hull. attack down to three hull. Devastating. Absolutely devastating. And Palop still has a shot. He sure does. I'm, I'm, I'm very curious that he bombed Terok in like that and kept Fen very coy. Very, like, not even like five forward and then a barrel roll out of arcs or, or what have you. Just the hard one. Nothing. Just. Here we go. One crit on Tar spending uh, the target spending lock. The target lock. Uh, Dutch shooting Paylob. Hit crit. There you go. Crit, crit. Great. Three uh, triple no, crits. Three triple crits. It must be the proton torpedo. Yes. Uh, spend focus, spend evade. And it's going to be taking a shield there. Yes, takes a shield. Not what uh, Yeske wanted to see there. Definitely hoping for more damage from a proton torpedo, especially at range three. It's just all those tokens that the Hawk gets. Yeah, just carrying all kinds of stuff on there. When Ye when Jesper evaded, I was like, there's not going to be combat this round. Here's the Hawk. Oh, we're missing that third die. He's putting two fingers up. Asking how many how many does he have? Is it worth spending? Of course it Taking is. Taking the risk. He's going for two. Oh, there's the other one. Going for two. Two of eights. Got Natties. it. Natties, baby. That a boy Roger. Sometimes that's enough. That's what that's you gotta keep that Y wing on the board. All you gotta do is uh live into the next round. Um can you remind people about the format and how there's like free upgrades and stuff? Absolutely. So if you're just tuning in now, this is the course on Invitational 2018. And so each uh, faction has a mandatory upgrade. Uh, Leia for Rebels, Boba Fett for Scum, and Ruthlessness for the Empire. And each of those, each instance of those non-unique and unique upgrades that you take are free. Mm -hmm. Absolutely free. You see these players taking advantage of it. Yeska going up to 208. And uh, Jesper... Um, Having a 15-point bid. Strong. Wow. Yeah, so it looks like, uh, actually, while zooming in, that that was Old Terraku did that attack. He did roll one too many dice. He was thinking it was Fen. So, I mean, one remind you, if you guys look at the tournament rules... Uh, at is at wow words are hard mm -hmm. <laughs> well, it's uh, been a long part, couple of days part of, part of the tournament rules is that as streamers we're not allowed to interact with the game in any way there are spectators at the table nobody caught it nobody there's went a judge, to the judge at the table there's a judge at the table these things um, happen it, it happens accidents happen um, we'll continue with just want, want you guys to know the what what we have to do mm -hmm. <laughs> alrighty so let's go ahead and look at some options you do see Fen out here on the flank. We got our Madden pens yeah, back. Yeah, we're back, okay? That's dangerous, Dion. I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> we got uh, him on the flank here, and he has two possible targets to intercept. And I think that's why Jesper kept them in uh, out here. Now, the question is... Now, Fen wants to be at range right, one. Right, he wants to be at range one. Does he kind of... He, I think his options are either you try to get behind by going fast with the boost, mm -hmm. because... 
Roger wants to be at range two and three, right? Okay, Roger Roger wants to shoot those proton torpedoes, goes yes. one forward, yes. you know, kind of sitting out here. Now, so who, who, who target locked uh, old T? Uh, that is... Um, Garvin. I believe it's, it's, yeah, I believe it's Garvin. I keep wanting to call Nora. Hard two to the, here. Hard two to are, the left. Are we going to see an arc rotation from Roger? Lands it. Good flying there. Good flying. Avoids That's a the fantastic flying. Avoids the debris, and now he has a choice. Currently, his arc is pointed downboard. Excellent. So I think we're going to see, and the target lock here. The target lock there. come in here with a with a with a boost in this way. To shoot at Garvin, I think we're going to see both. Oh, I think we're going all in on old T. Right, but I think we're going to see both fangs here converge on Garvin and uh, allow allow Paylob here to finish off a range one four die shot onto uh, onto Dutch with that uh, that title. All right. All right, hard two from old Terak. Told you. There We're not going to get the boost because I forgot that Wedge doesn't move yet. Yep, yeah, Wedge but, is uh, I-6. Look at that beep, 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 beep. All the target locks there on uh, on old T, and he's just going to focus. I mean, he has that he has that Concord down that, that basically mitigates mm -hmm. the range one there. All right, we're gonna mark Garvin. Uh, I, I, I'm very looking forward to see where Roger puts. Uh, oh, I think he's calling the five forward. He's calling it. He's calling the five forward from uh, from Fen. I think Fen's gonna be somewhere here. That's a talent roll. Oh no, it's roll. a talent roll. My bad. Okay. He's going all the way back. Does he? Is he gonna clip arc there? We're gonna we're gonna pop that off. Oh man, this is very interesting positioning. I really like where Dutch went. I really like where Garvin went. I and he really pop Leia. He popped Pop Leia. That's why he has that's the focus. What, that's what Leia's there for. You got to use her. Okay, right. Jesper turning in, and this is time to converge on uh, on Garvin here. Yeah. Like I said, uh, we're going to do a little boosty boost. We're going to have uh, Fen right. Oh, barrel roll. Oh, yeah, I forgot they had barrel roll. That's mm -hmm. great. We're going to link to action in. Fantastic. So he's going back. He's giving himself some room there. Now for next turn, so we can track down yep. next turn after uh, no, going after forward. Wedge. He, he, he wants a range one. Mm. I think it's going to be range one either way. He a, chooses the front. All right. A, sh a piece played is a piece laid, Jesper. All right. You made your choice, sir. Well, you can check all three positions. Can you? Yeah. Uh, you put the ship down. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, he, once you put it down, you can go one, two, three. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Yeah. He can't. He couldn't switch the original. Oh, okay, the original spot has to be in the middle anyway. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. So. So yeah. here we're gonna go. This Jesper's is using his 15 point bid to to shoot first. Oh no, he's he's shooting second. So uh, Wedge has uh, swarm tactic, Garvin, and Garvin's shooting at, at a nine. They got two hits there, spending the lock. That's two okay. hits and, uh, sorry, one hit, two crits. I believe that's another proton torpedo. And nothing. That all gets nothing through from there. Jesper. No nothing evades. At all. Hit, crit, crit going into the hawk. Hit. Fueling. Fu oh, this Ever. is this is this is a dead hawk. Damaged engine. That's gone. That's wow. That's huge. That's, that is, that is, that is. Absolutely incredible. Huge. That was three dice down. All blanks for Jesper. He had no green tokens on the hockey. He had nothing to steal. Brutal. Here goes Fen. Range one. Five dice. All right. All right. He's got the focus. He's not taking any shots. So he's going to focus. And Fearless does not trigger because they're not in each other's front arc. Correct. Rolls the evade, so it's going to be three, two, uh, two hits and a crit going into Garvin. Garvin takes three shields. Old Tarak, range one. Four dice, and Is he's he just going to use Fearless. Just Fearless? Yep, there's no reason to spend the focus there. Four dice. Oh, and she takes all. he takes all of it. One, two, three, four. Down to three hole there. That's half. I was going to quote the trench. I can take it. I can hold it. <laughs> 
Is that Garvin? I forget. I think it's Garvin. I yeah. can hold it. It's Garvin. I Maybe? can hold it. In the, he's gold leader. No, no, that's Dutch. Is it? That's Dutch Vander. No. Oh, is he red leader? Yeah. Yeah, he's red leader. All right, so this is going to be uh, Dutch into Old Tarak. He's like, no, he, said, he said it was fearless. Yeah. All right. So one hit. Hit crit. Hit crit into Old Tarak. Spends the focus. Look. Two evades. That's evade. an evade, yeah. Evade, evade. Spent the focus anyway. If it was focused, he would have spent it. Yep. So no shots. And we're back to dials. Man. So a really interesting Man. change. Lose, losing that hawk. Um, Did that, not expect that. Yeah, when I was when I was talking to uh, to Francois, who had played him before, that hawk was definitely a distraction piece because it can stay alive so long. Mm -hmm. um, Super important to get in there, rip tokens off. Yeah, and and Jesper's choice not to evade that turn mm -hmm. is what bit him, right? I mean, you you never know what's what's how the dice are going to roll, but. If we turned out. So yesterday, Jesper only lost one ship all day. 6-0 lost one ship. Yep. The last, so round of 32, he had a buy. This is round top 16. Yep. He just equaled his ship uh, ship count losses from uh, the last game. All right. All right, hey, moderators, how close are we to our goal? Let, us know, let me know in the chat. And there was a question I passed by earlier from, oh, I forget. Uh, can I scroll back on the chat? Uh, yeah. Oh, no. The chat's moving pretty fast, so. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I lost it. Oh, that's okay, all right. that's all right. It happens, it happens. Someone was asking me a question. If you want to ask me a question again, just repost it. <laughs> All right. All right. So let's take a look at uh, some of our options here. Yeah. And uh, so we know that now Jesper has to leverage his fangs mm -hmm. uh, in a game where he has half points on two of Roger's main pieces. Now, Roger had, did what he had to do. He took a ship off the board right away in this, essentially, the second engagement, mm -hmm. right? Second turn of engagement. Dutch uh, has, what's his turret? Which one does He's he have? He's got the ion turret. He's I think you were just going to see just a little banky bank from yeah. him. Yeah. Just keep, rolling through. Keep the threat open. Yeah. Keep just the, the one open. bank. It doesn't really move him all that far. Look at that. Coming in. Right, that keeps him in the battle. Next turn, he'll be behind a rock if he needs to be. He can move fast and get around the rock. Right, I'm not sure. Like, Garvin's probably going to slide over to this, the, the right-hand side of the board. Yep. There he's uh, checking for checking range. Checking for target lock. He's checking for a target lock because he can pass one at range three. So I think That's Garvin right. was just out for that. There's the hard two. Remember, uh, it does have a back arc. It's going to be two dice out the back on the arc 170. But that's not Roger's going to start breaking away with his hurt ships coming back around and you've seen some of Jesper's plan here right um, yep. with uh, he's put a major hurt into uh, those ships with selflessness and uh, he's going here for uh, not that's not how barrel roll works it does on the large on the medium ships oh you you, you can do the middle yeah, so you you line up the middle to he, the to the middle of the end of the template. Oh, I thought you had to do it to the top of the template. Like, no, like big like big ships. No, it's different. It's like it's half that much distance. Well, that's it's much better. It's yeah, it's, it's really weird. I've been playing wrong. <laughs> 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 We're discovering a lot of that today. That's, There's been a lot of like these are all extremely good X-wing players. And it's in the not only that it's all it's all so new. It's yeah. all so new. Like we. It's Here's the a 4K from Wedge. Did not expect that. He it's does, gonna I be believe, have a target lock. He is going to be stressed. But Talon roll into a 4K because of Leia, puts, all that green action. Puts him in a spot that without Leia, he could not have been this turn. Yeah. So we are heading up. Oh, my goodness. Fen into Wedge. Range one. Wedge's target lock, I believe, is on old T.
wedge, range two at old T. Here we go. Now the barrel roll on the arc, is that a red or a white barrel roll? Uh, it's red. I wonder if the stress is underneath the ship. There, spends, spends the, the lock. Now this is a torpedo into old T. Hit, for hit, crit. Ow, 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 ow. Response? Nothing. Blanks. Nothing. That might be a dead. Hit, hit, and the crit is? Show us, Jesper. Structural, Structural damage. damage. That hurts. That hurts. That hurts With big wedge time. on the board, fangs rolling one of a, of a die. Not great when you're on one hull. So is that one? Let's go ahead and get that crit in there. And we're going to be looking at a 3v2 attack from Garvin onto Tarok. Now we're watching Fen. Fen into, Fen into Wedge. Again, Fearless. Fearlessness. Five again. Three hits. Two yes, crits. Yes, legendary dice not failing him. That is two evades. So shield, shield. We can see it at the top here. Shield, shield. Crit. Single crit. Put it, put it in the box. Put it in the box. Yes, we're helping breach, us out. Hull, Hull breach. breach. Hull breach on Wedge. Everything is going to be a crit. He's going to have to waste an action, which is going to be needed to kill Tarok next turn. Mm -hmm. I, like I like this comment right here. Damage is flying this game. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, Billy. Here we go. Old Tarok, range one. No fear list because you have to be front to front. Two hits. One of eight die. Got it. Dodgy, dodgy. One damage into Garvin. Garvin takes one more. Garvin there taking four total. Remember, he's got a shield upgrade. Garvin shooting backwards. Two hits. Uh, Jesper only rolling uh, two evade dice here because of structural damage. Got it. Natty lives. There we go. How many times can I talk about Jesper's dice? Oh, my God, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen. All right. So, you know, this really flips the game. Uh, this puts Roger ahead. Uh, yeah, he took, he took his focus off. He was so confident yeah. that that was the Dutch was out. Yeah. Oof. Wow, Dion. Wow, absolutely fantastic. You can see here. Uh, swing, our swing, score, swing. Up now, 89 to now 70. Now that is uh, 85. Yeah, it's actually he, 85 because of the uh, the free boba. Mm -hmm, so absolutely. 85 there. Um, now, uh, Fen is stressed, right, from his uh, from, from his, his link, move, yep. from his linked action. Wedge is stressed from his K-turn. Tarok is not stressed. Garvin should be stressed. Yep, it might um, be behind the ship. It, 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 that's a big-ass ship. It's, it is, it's actually. Fat, it's a fat boy. If you look right underneath the left wing, there is a sliver of orange. Oh, oh Right oh, there. Oh, oh, that's that's his warning lights. They're on in the back there. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, some moves here. Oh, they, they're swapping dials. <laughs> yeah, like, what, 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 what can these things do? All right. Dial. So, um, I think right now, Old Tarak is, you know, I think he's he's in the biggest trouble, right here. Wedge can hunt him because mm -hmm. he's he's initiative five. Yeah. Um, I'm curious to see what he does here. L Jesper likes to boom and zoom, right? So he hit Wedge in the face. Where do I get my next shot? He's coming for he's coming for Dutch. Yeah. Right. You're creating this this big circle of uh, of death. And it's all kinds of stuff. So a quick update for our PTL fans. Sure. Uh, Kelvin has won his mirror match and will be advancing to play the winner of the FFG stream PTL in the top eight of Coruscant. How many uh, Gold Squadron guys do we have in the top eight of Coruscant so far? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I haven't been getting updates, so I have no idea. I don't how many, have an how entire... Many, how many Minox in the top eight of Coruscant so far? Uh, zero. zero. Zero Minox. Oh, I think we're going. <laughs> we're doing well then. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I think 100% you're right. Fen is going to hunt and kill uh, Dutch. Dutch with three hull and no defense because he's a Y-Wing. I keep wanting to say Drea, too. I feel like that's what you want <laughs> to say, right? Did I say right? Drea? Oh like, like, there's a hesitation. <laughs> uh, uh, we we saw what? Drea a couple times yesterday. I have it still saved somewhere. My very first X-Wing list. Yeah. Dutch Vander. Some generic E-Wing. Like Blount or that other Z-95. And uh, oh, I'm forgetting. I have it. I'm just like... I love Dutch. Dutch is my favorite. And he's a gold squadron leader. How can we not root for Dutch? That's right. But I think Fen is just going to delete him. <laughs> I think Tarok, not long for the world. We're going to see just a two bank from, from, from Wedge. And he's just going to wipe out old T. We're going to see Dutch go down with, with Fen over here. And uh, 
That'd be Garvinger versus the world. Uh, you know, Wedge, I think we're going to come down to Wedge versus Fenn. And in that situation with Fenn moving last, I don't know how I can't say that Fenn is going to outmaneuver Wedge. Yeah. Let me uh, give me one. I need the mouse. Okay. Give me one. Give me one second. I have put all the pens down. All the pens. Not put them down. The there not. are like seven on the desk. Put them down. <laughs> fantastic. Yeah. This game, man. This game is absolutely uh, fantastic. And we might have some pretty juicy prizes here uh, for our top four match. So make sure. It's a whole thing with like a website and stuff. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right. PTL top eight at Coruscant. Boys, come to the PTL Open. We've got some of the best players in the world. Flycasual.ca. <laughs> Advert done. Advert done. You know, people pay for advertising up a stream. I paid eight hours That's of my right. time yesterday. That's Dion. right. <laughs> That's right. That wasn't in the cut. I'm just messing with you, man. <laughs> Listen, I got to feel Love better me. somehow. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Um, give me I'll one. I'll slip you a 50 later, don't worry. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Better than a shiny penny. <laughs> <laughs> love it, love it. Uh oh. 45. I mean, 45. This, Dion, this looks like a game with 10 minutes left in it, and we have 45 minutes left in it. These boys are flying fast and hard, and I love it. Sorry, Roger, I love the way you play. Jesper, I love how aggressive you're being. This is just, you know been fantastic. Alright guys, I'm working on some of the uh, the behind the scenes overlay stuff. Sorry for the, the radio silence here. That's alright, we've got Admiral O'Shell with his gambling dice to entertain us <laughs> and uh, our, our small Lego figs following their, their respective pilots around. I absolutely, I, now, I, love, the, I love the people who do the, the Lego thing, like that's all right, we've super got fun. Dutch moving fast. And okay, he wants to get a shot, he wants to make sure he can, oh, he can engage can with whatever's coming in. I, with that range two shot, he, I don't know, ho he's hoping to punk Fen, um, we'll have to see. Uh, Garvin doing that one bank. Revealing his blinky lights, his stress token. Uh, it was there under the wing, just as Dion predicted. Now nah, he's just a, a big boy. Uh, all right, old T going hard, going hard. Old T coming in on wedge. There. Oh man. Okay, converging. So you know what? You you coming for me? Yeah. No. Well, no. I'm coming for you. Yeah. <laughs> you can hear the cries of the Minox in the background. In the background. Losers all. Barrel roll. So that's going to block that forward two if that's what he did. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's going to block the two bank. Good move. Could be a good yeah. move. Let's see Let's see what uh, what ends up coming out here. Because there's no K-turn. Uh, he can't K-turn because he's currently stressed. So that's mm -hmm. most likely a block. Good foresight by Jesper. He could do the three forward, I believe, on the uh, X-Wing is green. Mm -hmm. um, but that's, he doesn't have a shot, so... He, but that might get him with a barrel roll into range of Garvin. Garvin can then, oh, it was the two bank. Bumpy, bump, 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 bump. Oh, goodness. Okay, they're checking to see if they shoot each other. All right, so it was a two bank. That, that means that I believe Wedge and Tarok are going to be shooting each other. Face to face. So Tarok still has structural damage. So that wedge gets a chance. He has a chance. Old T will be rolling one evade die oh. to wedge's four dice. He has a focus. So he's gonna he has Concord Don, but that only lets you change one. So he's he's, he's gonna go. have one evade. Right. He's gonna have one evade. D uh, wedge has to roll two. Yeah. That's it. That's what it comes down to. You know what? Legendary dice are great and all, but you have to roll dice for that to happen. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Oftentimes you have to roll dice, dice to get a result. Correct. All right, here we go. Uh, no, this should I'll be uh, probably Fen coming up next. Fen hard two. Okay. Oh, they got the little the one with the little holes in it. Fantastic. Right. And to remind you, why is he rolling one evade? He currently has structural damage mm -hmm. plus Wedge's ability, Reducing. which reduces it by one. I mean. Uh, so here's the hard turn that we talked about. We thought it was going to be coming up the board. I thought we were going to be, he was going to be moving a little faster. Mm -hmm. This is pretty coy. Uh, you know, I, I like the 
Jesper's got good cornering, it seems. Yeah. He can, he he does he's not sticking to fast, it's like fast slow, fast slow. And it's sort of keeping his opponents off balance, keeping us off balance, mm -hmm. and certainly staying out of range of that ion turret. Yeah, absolutely. So no need to trade shots if you don't have to. But that ion turret, range two only. All right, it's time. It's time. Let's let's see what happens here. Fen just taking a break, repositioning for next turn. That's right. And I think Fen. Here he goes. Pick pick your dice. He, he likes the dice he's, cup. He likes the dice. Here we go. We're gonna be rolling them dice. Oh, he pulled out the. He's he, he, he grabbed the Hans. He, he's kissing the Han dice. We got Admiral O'Shell. Oh, Ooh, no. oh, only one. That's not that's not gonna do any damage. It's not gonna. It doesn't matter. The Concord it, Dawn. It literally doesn't matter. Oh my God, Dion. Dion. I average on four dice is two. Now Tor Tarok's going to get to shoot him in the face. He's going to return shot. Oh, my that God. That hurts. That hurts for sure. Range oh my God. three from Fenrau into, what was that? into Dutch. Got one. Spends a focus because he can't get shot back because Ion Turret's only range one to I two. Can, I can't handle that, that dice gets roll. Gets the innovate. <laughs> so I think uh, we're seeing one on Dutch. Dutch took one. Dutch took one? Yeah. Oh, because he had two. Yeah, my bad. Checking to see if that we've got a shot here from Old T. Um, I feel like Admiral Shell watching over us all on Turtle Island here in North America. <laughs> Yeah, I want to remind you guys, the white dice can be a little hard to see sometimes, depending on the angles. Call a judge, please. Yes, yep, we've that, got Victor there overseeing yep. the... Uh... Holding down the ships. Mm. There you go, I here's see, Victor. I see. I see, I see. Do you see? Yeah, that's going to look like it's an arc. Uh, no, oh, that's close. Tap, tap, tap. That's it's close. close. I'm not going to say anything until Victor says something. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Looks like it's out. No shot. No shot. No shot. All right. Here goes. Uh, this is Garvin from the backside. Got two here. That's, that's dead old T. Come on. He's got two dice. No, spends a focus. Oh my lives. God. Old T refuses to what die. What is going on? He refuses to die. New report in. Lukas from Poland also making it into the top eight. Wow. Oh, my God. Ladies Absolutely nuts. That, that right there really takes the advantage bar and moves it Jesper's way. I mean, if Ulti would have gone down here, Roger's in the driver's seat. He has three of his ships, even though some of them are limping. He has three of them alive. He's still ahead in the game. He having an opportunity to just pin down Fen. Because uh, Pen, 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 Fen does not like to be pinned into a corner. Jesper's like, what, you're going to take away my auto thrusters? I'll just, I'll just roll well. I just, I just roll natties. Absolutely ridiculous. Uh, you know, like that, that roll from Roger, <laughs> it just, you know, like just a little... You know, another hit. That's a dead old T. Oh, my God. I mean, I still think Fen can, like, with no damage, really work away at it. This is a, an extremely tight and close game. Oh, boy. I'm Crazy. Excited. And as, as we hit this low, I want to remind you guys that our round sponsor is Curled Paw Creatives. You can go to curledpawcreatives.com and get 15% off of your order by using coupon code Coruscant18 at checkout. Uh, when you go to curlpawcreatives.com, you will be redirected to their Etsy site. That's where they do all their business. Thank you so much to Curlpaw Creatives for supporting us in our venture. Uh, yes, I, lo I love, I love your art. <laughs> so good. And um, yeah, I think we're proud. We're pretty close to dials. Uh, they were asking for a double check on just to see what's going on. Also, we are, I believe, four. Twitch Prime subscriptions away. Moderators, let me know if that is correct or not. Uh, Brunstang is asking about Nathaniel Mays Day. He lost the mirror match against Kelvin Lau from the PTL. Sorry, Oblazoned. You went down today. Yep. Um, Ontario. As no, Ohio I, is now also part of Lower Canada. Uh, as, as I was saying, we are four Twitch Prime subscriptions away from unlocking uh, some raffles for some card sets. 
Come on, let's, folks. Let's get it done. We got 20, 38 minutes to get it done. Subscribe your Twitch. Attach your Amazon Prime accounts to Twitch Prime. Yeah, just click the button. All you got to do is click the button. Just one little button. <laughs> that sounds easy, Dion. That's right. It is. Where and is the button? The button. Uh, we actually have a video. It pops up in the chat every, every 20 minutes. There's a link to a video on our YouTube page. It gives you step-by-step -step directions how to set it up. Well, then, folks, you know what to do. Every 20 minutes, click the video, watch the video, <laughs> do the steps. That's right. You want to win stuff? We're giving away That's right. We're cards? giving away some cards for this, uh, for this one. Yeah. And I'm working on getting something a little bit bigger for the top four mm. when we get there. I, it's still, it's still, uh, mm. yeah, yeah. Excitement. Yeah. We're, 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 we're. We'll see. We'll see if it works out. All right. This is a, a very tough round. We're we're here chatting about uh, throwing shade at, at Ohio and, and uh, <laughs> you know talking about all these great deals you've got coming up, all the giveaways we're going to do. Mm -hmm. But these players have been struggling and consternating and 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 clenching their buttocks, trying to think of where they're going to go. Yeah. What's going to happen? They're puckering up. They're trying to figure out how they're going to avoid five die attacks from each other. Um, you know, I imagine we're going to see a slow move from Garvin, but who knows? Yeah, she wants to get that arc, uh, keep that arc relevant. The last, t I feel like nothing's changed in ten minutes. Like these guys have spent, you know, we, Here we go. The, the first three hard thirty minutes were like, go 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 go, and now yeah. we all have to deal with the situation we've created and sort of like figure out how we're going to get through. There we go, double target locks. Oh, um, Dutch we, passing a target lock, I believe, to wedge. Yep. we may see a Talon roll here. Yeah, or a K turn. Or a K turn, absolutely. I, I think here's the here's probably the K from the arc 170. Yep. yep. Want to get that relevant again? Now he must have popped Leia. All these folks, uh, he's doing. An oh, here, there. yeah. There we go. Leia is so good. So we're gonna see the in this format, team. especially when she's free. Having her free is fantastic. All right. So old Terok. Debating the barrel, seeing if he can get a block barrel here. Barrel for the block. Great what, move. What if Wedge just went one forward? Like, oh, then OT like would be the, dead. the one forward, like the surprise one forward, can like just really they surprise people. Like, oh, he's you think about all these crazy moves. You're like, he's one forward. Roll. He's got the roll. Okay. He's got the roll. He wants to kill Fen. He has to kill Fen. Fen can solo this list without OT. Oh, oh. There you oh. go. They missed it anyway. He he wasn't going to be on the rock. All right, so Fen is in. Fen's in the box. He's in Fen, the box right Fen, there. Fen Boom. is in the box. Boom. Where are you going, Fen? This is the safe area. This is it. Five forward out of there? No, hard oh, one. One hard. He's facing down Wedge. Dion, he called the Talon. He did. So we got, uh, you know, quite a few tools in, uh, in Jesper's wheelhouse at range one. All right, so he does have the Fearless. He's also got that Concord down, which allows him to get that free evade, which is awesome. Just thinking about wow. his action. Ooh, that, it got quiet again. Wow. It got really quiet. Wow. I expected the too hard going in, killing killing Dutch, but he can he can hunt down a wounded Dutch later. Yeah. Going for the kill on Wedge. Now, both of them will get to shoot each other. Wedge will still get to shoot if Fen PS kills him. Fen will still get to shoot if Wedge PS kills him. They'll blow each other up, and that's um, an interesting result. I believe we are now one subscriber away from unlocking some cards. Get it done. One more. All right, here we go. Target lock. Spend it. Bending it. Hit, hit, crit into Fen. Go oh, Natty's baby! Now, Fen, this is a, an attack from. Why did he roll three? Oh, because he's Fenrau. He he's Fenrau. Yeah. Holy sh. <laughs> wow. Fearlessness, focus. 
you, you've already gone all in, Jesper. You know it, yes. <laughs> he wants to do it. It's not. Takes two. Would have taken three. Wouldn't have been a crit, though. Oh, there is a crit. Oh. He's got hull breach. Yeah. So we have fuel, fuel leak. leak. So damage, damage sensor, sensor away. And that's going to deal another one because yeah, of fuel leak. Yeah, and that's dead. Wow. Over. There we go. All right. So Fenrout doesn't have weapons failure anymore. He only has two damage. So Fen is on half. Does mm -hmm. not have weapons failure. Ulterok is at one. They're moving on from this game state here. Yep. Three hits. Uh, something takes two. Fenrau, I think. We missed the beginning of this. Fenrau's off the game, off the board. Off the board, okay. So Rogers ahead now, 160 to 105. Yeah. I mean, wow, this game. All the crits on Wedge. Now, if Ofolti lives, he'll be stri st uh, stripping He'll be stripping focuses and, uh, and evades off mm -hmm. of uh, Roger's ships. Yes, there's made a decision. Very difficult decision here from Roger, but where Luke Wedge yep. is going to go. I'm trying to remember which... Which crit just got flipped down? One of them gets flipped down. Yeah, Wedge uh, has many crits. Yeah. He probably flipped the whole breach. I'll go take a look. Take one more look. Lots of things have changed. All right, folks. Let's get, uh, let's get this moving. So the round ends for them at 12.50. So that means we would have 17 minutes left. Let me go ahead and adjust that now. All right. Uh, Wedge has hole breach and damage sensor array. That's what he ended up with. After all that flippy dip stuff. So here's Dutch. Wow. Wow. So, I mean, this game state has really flipped. Once you lose Fen, now it's Old Terok. Uh, Old Terok versus the world. And yeah. I was very confident that Old T, not Old T, uh, Fen Rao could solo this list. Mm -hmm. And uh, one bad proton torpedo. you got to respect those proton torpedoes. They they've hit been, super hard. They've been putting work in all tournament. Uh, certainly uh, much more... People were, were selling me on the Proton Torpedoes. Like, Proton Torpedoes are great. And I'm like, they don't do the eye to the crit anymore. They're not giving me the mods. Like, what do you mean? And then, yeah. oh, oh, now I get it. Yeah. I want to oh, remind, I, I, I see some people confused on the scoring. Remember, all ships give half points now. Yeah. All ships give half points. We've already got half on Old Turok. And Roger's only got 156 yeah. because of Boba Fett not giving full points. Exactly. And, uh, uh, Jesper has 101 because of Leia. Which is free giving, as well. Which is free as well, not yeah. giving half points. Yeah, overlay can't account for the free upgrades. So here, Old T going in for the kill on Garvin. Some confusion about the Ion. So because of swarm tactics on Wedge, uh, Wedge and Dutch both shot before... Uh, Fen did, so he engaged after having that crit. Mm -hmm. Must had to be ioned. One hit there, coming in. This must be Dutch again. The swarm tactic lock. up There's to two. six. Two on old T. That's gonna hit. He's got to yeah, focus. He's got, he has to spend the focus. Spend the focus. Yeah. Oh, he had rolled too many dice. Yeah, he, he did, did roll too many, many dice. dice you have to re-roll them Roger again. noticed that. Yep. Because of the uh, structural damage. Second shot here. Looks nope. like it's just one. Spending the target lock. 
for two. OT rolling two dice. And uh, did we get the second dice? No. Nope. Good game. He's got good game. All right. Jesper and Roger hugging it out. Hugging it out. That, that's stressful game. Absolutely stressful game. You know, in very the, tense. In the end, you know, you got you got people playing the game. They uh, made the best of of what they could. Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and um, let's give away some more stuff. Yeah. Let's do that. So we're still we gave away three sets. We had four more sets. Here we go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Drum roll. We got 97 eligible users in the chat right wow. now. Wow. Let's go. Let's wow. go. Here we go. Rolling. Next person is Belinda Mood. Congratulations, Belinda Mood. It's like I'm in the mood. Belinda Mood. I like Fantastic. it. Fantastic. Belinda Mood. To enter the giveaway, just make sure you are actively chatting actively in the chat. Actively in the chat. And that raises your luck level. That's right. All right. Here we go. Devin, can you write down the next one? Let's Absolutely. do it. Absolutely. Three, Eight, two, one. one. Bam. JD, JD Nielsen. He was That's here today five. and he was here yesterday. He won twice. Oh, I thought you were he was I thought you were saying he was actually physically here <laughs> he at was Coruscant. Here. He was here. But he, also in the he, chat. He was he's is with us in spirit. Yeah. All of the subscribers and viewers are with us here in spirit. That's right. Two on more. On to six, on to six. Darth, Darth Revan 1979 getting a set. I recognize that name from chat. Oh my god, 1979. Okay, and the last one. Drum roll. Uh, Bam. Three. Oh, no, we just went for it. Gamer Sophisticate. Gamer Sophisticate. Thank you so much. <laughs> Congratulations for winning. Go ahead uh, to claim your prizes. Make sure to shoot me a message either through Twitch or um, on the Gold Squadron Podcast Facebook page on there with your address, and we will get you your swaggity swaggity swag. All, All the right? swag. So uh, make sure you guys do that. Stick around. Um, I have to do a couple of things uh, involved in getting us our awesome prizes that I'm going to be giving away in the top four. So we got to go here real More quick. More surprises. More surprises. Um, You're just going to go to the store next door and buy something, aren't you? Yeah, a 1.0 TIE Fighter. <laughs> yeah. No, just kidding. Just kidding. We'll be back.